All right, guys. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about half guard, the concept of uh, half guard. So I'm gonna show why I use my my hands and my knees and the details because the concept is really important for you feel comfortable with the position and avoid the guys attacks. You know? So let's get started. So here, first thing, of course, a half guard, you have to hook the leg, okay? But you don't need to close the half guard, okay? Why? Because like this situation is really bad because you give too much space for your opponent to approach, right? To, to pass your hip and to get close and you can't move. So that's really bad for you, right? So that's why you just need to hook the leg, right? And the detail that is really important in the half guard that I used to do, I used to miss that a lot is the knee, right? So this knee must be out of the mat, okay? So why? Because if you let the leg just hang in there, it's too easy for my opponent to step up and get close. So that, I'm gonna hook the leg, and always when I hook the leg, see I kind of like shift my hip a little bit, and I always kind of like rest my knee on his leg, right? And my foot kind of like just touching the mat, okay? My right foot, the same one that's hooking the half guard, is like just touching the mat, right? The other leg, my foot just kind of like touching his belt, right, his hip, but my knee is like halfway, right? It's not too open, otherwise the guy can like stuck my leg, right? He can or, or just like approach it, like kill my, my leg position, so it's kind of like just halfway, right? 45 degrees. So the legs position are really important because of that. Then we're gonna work hands, right? So this hand are always on the lap, on the on the collar because that's gonna like avoid the guy to get away, right? And if the guy try to get like smash me, that's gonna push the guy away, right? So that's pretty much the concept of half guard. Right? But what you guys have to get, uh, like, have in mind is what? Always when you play this kind of game, you never can let your opponent to, to grab the, your head, right? Because here, there is no more half guard, right? Even if the guy like, gets the underhook, so you always like, gonna like, so all your defense gonna be what? Focus on the, on the, on the head. So if the guy gets the underhook, okay, it's bad, but it's even worse if he gets the head, right? So the concept of the foot, why my foot, I said, is like out of the mat. Because even when the guy gets down the hook, what I like to do in that situation, always I block the head for he doesn't get my, my head, right? And now I use just this knee, the one that is out of the mat, to make my opponent out of balance, right? So look, foot on the mat, and then I just use my hip, okay? So look, you're not gonna use that as a sweep, but you force your opponent to post, right? So you see the guy, of course, gonna be exposed, so the guy gonna post, otherwise, you, you might get like a sweep. But that's all I need, that post. Then I'm gonna enter the space, not to get the other hook, right? But you're gonna get your hand. Then the guy gonna come back to the situation. But now, you got the other hook back, or for the guy avoid the other hook, he just gonna back up, and you reset the position, right? So, if the guy gets down the hook, then you reset the, reset the position. So that's really important to do this, okay, guys? If my knee is on the mat, I cannot do this. So see, my knee is out, not gonna move my opponent. So make sure this is powerful, right? Even if the guy's like too close, see? Of course, you might get like a sweep, but what you want is this, just to get your hand in and create space to get, the, to get back to the position, right? So it's like pretty much the concept. It's really like the details because that's gonna like avoid uh, the guy get too close, right? Because here, of course, even if I lose, no problem, but if the guy gets too close, yeah, I reset. So make sure that you have your knee out always. Okay, that's always gonna force my opponent to 
to post and I'm gonna get the situation, right? Making him out of false post and create the space. Uh, my game is pretty much like, my main game is like half guard. So before I like start doing the moves, I just like to like give some attention. Why is the setup? Okay, why the hands, why the knees and the feet? Because that's gonna be, make it easier to understand the move and to get all the situations, sweeps, submissions that I'm gonna keep showing after that, all right? So let's work, guys.